Once there was a small transparent honey bottle and there was honey filled up to the brim. There was a honey bee who saw this transparent bottle, couldn't see the bottle but saw the honey and went straight and touched the surface of the bottle and thought it was touching honey. Started tasting the honey. It was moving around thinking it's actually tasting honey but it was simply tasting the surface. Then went up and saw there was the, uh, the cover on the bottle. The, the, the box was there. There was a small covering on the top. And it tried tasting that, thinking, oh, that's also honey. And it was touching that surface. It was thinking it is tasting honey. But actually, for a sane man who's looking at this, he knew that because it's a properly uh, closed box or a bottle, the honeybee can never taste the honey. But still, foolishly, it was thinking it's tasting. So in this way, Shala Bhakti Siddhan Saraswati Thakur says, there are many neophytes, many foolish neophytes who become pretenders or sahajiyas and they don't even touch the actual honey or of the, the honey of Krishna Prem, the true level of ecstatic symptoms. But just like the foolish honeybee was thinking it is tasting honey because it looks transparent, the neophytes sometimes make a big show of their exalted position. During Kirtan, they might have tears and tears and tears. And they might sometimes try to act unconscious or trembling of the body or chattering of the teeth. So many other or hair standing on end, these ecstatic symptoms. Of course, these are symptoms which are found in the body of a pure devotee. Uh, as Rupa Goswami describes in Bhakti Rasamrit Sindhu, when one reaches the level of asakti and bhava bhakti, then these qualities naturally come. But those who don't have the depth in the purity, but artificially want to come to that level, are like the foolish honeybee, who cannot touch the actual honey, are just touching the surface, but still proclaim as if they are tasting honey. So through this story, let us be very careful, that we practice the process of bhakti very nicely, step by step, and not jump high to think that we are very exalted and we are tasting bhakti. In fact, the thing is, when we are not tasting Krishna Prema, we think we are tasting Krishna Prema. But when we are actually tasting Krishna Prema, we think we are not tasting Krishna Prema. Those who are really low in their path of bhakti, they think they are exalted Vaishnavas. And those who are actually exalted Vaishnavas, they think they are the lowest Vaishnava possible. Shala Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur Ki Chai.